This is the second edition of the Andrew Cuomo flip-flop tour. Uh, coming to a black church in your neighborhood in the five boroughs. So far, his sanctuary is smaller African-American churches with older congregations. Like a comedian trying out new material on open mic night, he knows that he's going to get a good reception, so God forbid he have to deal with any adversarial reactions to his propaganda. And it is revisionism of the worst type as he lays up out in the mansion owned by his brother Fredo, Chris Cuomo, with the muscle between both ears, in which his wartime consigliere is back from federal prison, Joe Pococo, having done a six-year bid for political corruption for Team Cuomo. And he's the leg breaker. And now he's slowly mounting his comeback. He wants to be the mayor after having destroyed the state as governor. He wants a second bite at the apple to just completely obliterate us. And he figures, if I go into a black church and I try my lines, when I get a chance to run for mayor, you know, I'll have worked out my revisionism because a lot of people like Curtis, like Nancy, are going to see through this revisionism. For instance, this is part two of his appearance at a black Baptist church in the South Bronx. Here he was talking about the migrant crisis as the biggest government blunder he's ever seen. I've been in and out of government all my life. I served in the federal government with Bill Clinton. I worked with David Dinkins, attorney general, governor. This is the worst government blunder I have seen in my entire life. No. <laughs> The worst government blunder talked about 9-11 in the, the most ridiculous way. Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, was asked in one word, what, 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 how does he define New York City? Mr. Mayor, we've come to the end of what was a very eventful 2023, right? <laughs> so when you look at the totality of the year, if you had to describe it, and it's tough to do, in one word, what would that word be and tell me why? Uh, New York. Uh, This is a place where every day you wake up, uh, you could experience everything from a plane crashing into our trade center to a a person who's celebrating a new business that's open. Uh, This is a very, very complicated city, and that's why it's the greatest city on the globe. There's a lot of versatility in this city. Oh, my God. (laughs) By the way, he does mention the attack in 9-11 which is the biggest government blunder Andrew Evilized Cuomo we've ever seen, where his friend Bill Clinton's administration, which he was a part of uh, as housing uh, chairman at HUD, uh, was asleep at the wheel as Osama bin Laden was attacking us at will embassies in Africa, our, naval, uh, our Navy in the port in Yemen, and then eventually the attack on 9-11 itself. And then Bush 43 and Cheney were asleep at the wheel. We had all this information, national security agencies sitting on piles of recorded messages made between the co-conspirators where if they had been interpreted, we could have uh, preemptively stopped that strike. Uh, I would say that was the biggest government blunder that we have ever collectively experienced, Democrats or Republicans, in fact, was such a blunder, it actually brought us all together on the pile there. Remember, we were all together, kumbaya, we're going to get our enemies. So notice, Cuomo always tailors something to whatever he's trying to do revision on. Like, for instance, speaking about the federal government at the border. You have the federal government, which is where it starts, is standing at the border with a sign that says... Come to the United States of America and claim asylum. And two million people come. And uh, the first persons that they meet are the Migre, Immigration and Naturalization Service, a part of Customs, ICE. And yet, here it is in 2018, <clears throat> Andrew Evelines Cuomo debating Malanaro in the gubernatorial debate, the only one they had, going out of his way to bash ICE, not once, but twice. New York State is the state that says we will not cooperate with ICE. They're a bunch of thugs. He politicized ICE. They're a bunch of thugs. We said we will sue them. 
if they violate any criminal laws in the state of New York. How can he have it both ways? He hated ICE. He didn't want them to do their job. And now he's claiming that all of a sudden, in a pivot and shift, that really it's the federal government's fault for letting him in. Yeah, he's, ho- he's hoping that claim doesn't keep resurfacing. <laughs> <clears throat> I will keep playing it over oh, and no. over. He no. must apologize for that. And speaking at that black church, he was saying that uh, migrants at the border, they want to come to Nueva York. They want to come to New York. And they get to the border and they say, where do you want to go? And they say, I want to go to New York. Cuomo, who do they tell that to? Come on, Cuomo, name and shame. Come on, Andrew Evil Eyes Cuomo, name and shame. These just aren't cases. These just aren't. Uh, these just aren't problems. <clears throat> these just aren't statistics. These are not just refugees and asylum seekers in the plural. These are people with names, and with dads and moms. They've had a terrible journey, but yet they're filled. There's, I don't see any animosity or any. They're filled with gratitude. They said people have helped us on the way. The church has been there. Yeah, the church has been there through Catholic charities to get federal tax dollars from the Biden administration. They're the ones at the border. Andrew Evil Ice Cuomo knows that. They're the ones who approach the migrants, the illegals, and ask them which city you want to go to. Nine out of ten <laughs> saying New York. Yeah, and he, he was all like loud, loud and proud when they first came here greeting them. And now that Adams is asking all of these different uh, religious institutions to open their doors. It's like he's nowhere to be seen. No, but why won't he name and shame Cardinal Dolan? Why won't Andrew Evil Eyes Cuomo go the whole nine yards and name and shame the racket known as Catholic Charities, which takes up federal tax dollars? None of the money comes uh, from the collections that are made in churches, Roman Catholic churches uh, of the Archdiocese on Sunday. It's all federal tax dollars. Plus... They give $50 gift certificates from Target to every migrant, every illegal. Yes, Catholic charities. Come on, Cuomo, name and shame. And then he talks about New York State. New York State says to them, you can only go to New York City. Only New York City. Not the Hudson Valley, not upstate New York, not Long Island. Only New York City. Why? Well, let's uh, let's take it from the person who replaced him when Cuomo stepped aside because he feared indictment. His choice for lieutenant governor, Kathy Crime Wave Holcomb, what she had to say. Let's be very clear. You cannot involuntarily take people from the city and send them all over the state of New York. Putting someone in a hotel on a you know, dark, lonely road in upstate New York and telling them they're supposed to survive is not compassion. Now. Okay, so now there have been uh, several instances of uh, people upstate actually inviting them to come stay. So Erie County executive. Well, that's where Kathy Crime Wave Holcomb is from, Erie County. Yeah, no, so they, they were welcoming the migrants there because, you know, they were getting the stipends from New York City. Unfortunately, when they welcomed them there, um, two of the migrants actually raped uh, uh, women who were working at the hotel. I tried right, the two super eights out there in Cheektowana and Tanawanda. Yeah, and after that, they decided they didn't want them. But then also George Latimer, the county exec, he welcomed them too. So it's not as though no one but New York City is inviting them. Um, It's just the parameters weren't set up. Clearly, she doesn't want them there. No, no. George Latimer, he welcomed them into White Plains and Yonkers. But he didn't go so far as to invite them into Airmonk, uh, into uh, Chappaqua, the whitest suburb in America, where even the lawn jockeys are white. he, he sort of drew the line. Okay. You know, Yonkers, White Plains, that's it. And remember, SUNY Buffalo, they turned over some of their dormitories in Erie County to house the migrants, the illegal aliens. And then after a few weeks, they said, we don't know who these people are. <laughs> they are causing all kinds of problems. You got three days, pack your bags, and go back to New York City. Yeah. So this idea that, uh, that Cuomo tries to spin, that nobody wanted to take them. Yes, they did. They did, and boy, they had nothing but misery. And then he talks about, he uses a restaurant analogy to talk about picking up a bill to pay for all this mishigash. Then the check comes. 
You know when you're in the restaurant and they put the check in the table? Nobody moves. Everybody just looks at it. Everybody puts their hands in their pocket. Yeah, they got alligator arms. But he's, he's acting like as a politico, he's ever paid for a meal. I mean, I've seen Democrats, I've seen Republicans go out. They get wine-dined and pocket lined by lobbyists and others. And they never paid for meals. Well, well look at uh, Mayor Adams. He's always going to Asteria La Baia, owned by his uh, two, I don't know, former felon friends, the Petrosi brothers. That's right, the Petrosians, uh, and he never pays. Well, and he, and he has been and asked for receipts to verify that he has paid, because he claims he does, but he doesn't feel the need to show you a receipt. Just take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, Andrew. When did you ever pay for a restaurant bill? I mean, after after you take all those suits out of his uh, the equation, I don't know how he can pay for anything. Exactly. $5,000 customized suits. Anyway, uh, former Governor Cuomo saying the state. New York State should pay for everything. If I was asking, I would say the state should pay 100% of the cost because New York took care of 100% of the problem. (laughs) Do you know how many times when he was governor uh, and he got into battles with Comrade Bill de Blasio, who used to be his friend over the budget, he would say to de Blasio, no, 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 we're not paying for that, we're not paying for this, we're not paying for that. What a sanctimonious hypocrite. And then, of course, he spoke about the flight because of fright from New York State that started in his administration when he was governor and is now full-blown flight under Kathy Kleinwave Holcomb. New York City's where the revenue comes from. I know, I saw all across the state, I know where the money comes from, it comes from New York City, and they can kill the golden goose. Well, well, what a revisionist. Andrew Cuomo flip-flop, the flip-flop tour continues. In 2014, he gave a speech in which he told conservatives to get the hell out of New York. Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life? a poor assault weapon, anti-gay, is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. So they took that as a sign that they should leave, and they did. Along with their revenue? Of course, and their taxes. But that was followed quickly by Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, who was playing the race card, at the National Action Network headquarters of Al Slim Shady Sharpton. Go back to Iowa. You go back to Ohio. New York City belongs to the people that was here and made New York City what it is. So, so the philosophy is we're not welcoming in people who can pay their taxes, only the deadbeats who we have to fund. Gotcha. Wait, it gets better because Kathy Crime Wave Holcomb, once she realized that Congressman Zeldin won the very contested Republican gubernatorial primary, told the rest of us who remained... Why don't you hit the road, Jack, and don't come back? The fate of democracy in this country. That's what we're fighting for, my friends. We are fighting for democracy. We're fighting to bring government back to the people and out of the hands of dictators. And we're here to say that the era of Trump and Zeldin and Molinaro just jump on a bus and head down to Florida where you belong, okay? Get out of town. Get out of town. Because you don't re- you don't represent our values. Here, here's a quandary: What if the the migrants are Trump supporters? Then what do they do? <laughs> well, we know that the bus is packed uh, with Trump people leaving. The buses coming back are filled with migrants who are not paying taxes. So you can't have it both ways, Andrew Evil Eyes Cuomo. This is the second part of the Andrew Cuomo flip flop tour of revisionism. Tomorrow will be part three, all in the same black church. I mean, this is all his revisionism because he banks on the fact that people are stupid. They will not remember what happened or what was said five seconds ago, five minutes ago, five weeks ago, five months ago, five years ago. And that all will be good when he decides to be King Cuomo again, the second, this time mayor of New York City after having destroyed New York State. He will destroy New York City over my dead body. 